today we are going to take up the different sectors in india as when we were talking about the nature of indian economy we had discussed about that how indian economy is being divided into sectors uh, let us take this up once again and with the help of an easy example suppose we'll talk about india but let's take an example of reliance industries let us take three firms for example reliance trends which are into manufacturing of clothes and footwear and all reliance energy which are in the production of electric uh, electricity and reliance communications these are three different sectors of reliance reliance trends where the main input comes from agriculture sector reliance energy which is a big industry and reliance communication which provides service all these three sectors are important to reliance from the point of view of earnings and also important for the economy from the point of view of employment because both these sectors provide employment as well as they uh, incur income to the group similarly this is a micro concept where you are talking about one particular unit now when you view it in a larger context when you view it in context of your country like when we talk about india similarly india is also divided into three sectors which we had discussed earlier they are the primary sector secondary sector and the tertiary sector primary sector is the one which is associated with agriculture and allied industry secondary sector is the one which is associated with industry and tertiary sector is the one which provides services all three sectors are very important for the economy in the sense that they are big employment providers and also that they earn income and they constitute heavily in the gdp we'll take up so today we are get, going to study about the role of these different sectors in india so we are going to study about agriculture its role how it has grown over the years and the problems and the challenges that it faces similarly we'll take up the role growth and problems of the industrial sector and the service sector